All right, let's turn to this now. Senator Elizabeth Warren is reigniting the progressive push to pack the Supreme Court. Yeah, joining us, former NFL player, spokesman for the National Association of Police Athletic Leagues and CEO of the Brewer Group, Jack Brewer. Jack, great to see you as always. How essential is it for prominent voices, not just in the Republican Party, but in both parties, to shut down this court packing idea once and for all? Essential. I mean, it's it's mandatory. Come on. I mean, this is uh, unbelievable that we're even having this type of conversation uh, where you can try to, to pack a court that is so, uh, it's particularly in this culture right now, and America is so important uh, to the fabric. You, you've seen uh, the, the legislation and the changes that have started to happen uh, in our nation uh, because common sense has prevailed, and the Supreme Court was put in place uh, at the founding of this nation to do just that. Uh, to be that sounding board and that common sense. Uh, we've already had uh, so many liberal policies passed uh, over our, our nation's history, and, and, and you, you've seen the effects of that. And so uh, I just pray um, that, that folks like uh, Mrs. Warren uh, can, can get some type of common sense back and stop being so extreme. Mm -hmm. uh, but to pack this court would just make it, uh, you know, the, really the, the final um, uh, kind of sword in the sand for the Democratic Party, and I just hope that doesn't happen, man. Yeah, well, in this Boston Globe op-ed that Elizabeth Warren wrote about expanding the Supreme Court, she said, I don't come to this conclusion lightly or because I disagree with a particular decision. I come to this conclusion because I believe the current court threatens the Democratic foundation of our nation. And one of the reasons she wants to add justices to the Supreme Court is because of Roe versus Wade. I know that this is an issue. The abortion issue is something that you follow very closely. A any reflections on where it's stands right now. Uh, yes, you know, Elizabeth is, is just exactly what it is. Her and her and, and entire party really uh, are, are so worried that we're going to protect life in this country. Uh, and, you know, I was someone who supported abortion for many years. Uh, and that's one of the things that I repent for, I go to God for, uh, just to think that, you know, I, I was supporting uh, over 60 million babies to, to be aborted, no matter what you think, no matter what you believe. Uh, a, a baby's body is their own, uh, and a mother's mother's body is their own. And so uh, for them to kind of muddy the waters and, and to combine uh, health care with uh, something like murder, uh, late-term abortions that we commit in this country, uh, to think that any human being would think that that's okay, uh, it just shows you where we are as a society. And so I think these, this also reflects in a lot of other places. I, th I think our fatherlessness crisis uh, comes from this evil spirit. Uh, I think a lot of things that we see in our communities uh, where folks are shooting each other uh, and don't have love in, in their heart for each other, men not treating women uh, with respect anymore. All those things come because we've lost uh, basic humanity uh, and respect for life. And so uh, if people can't see that, then they're, they're, they're spiritually weak uh, and they're really supporting darkness. And we cannot do that anymore. This is a nation of hope. This is a nation of love. Uh, but more importantly, this is a nation that, that, that godly people came together right. to, to found. And so we we got to get back to that, and it starts with getting rid of Roe versus yeah. Wade. Pay attention to these power grab attempts over the course of the next couple months. You're going to see it a lot coming out of the Democratic Party. Before we let you go, NBC changing a very prominent Sunday night football reporter's role after Colin Kaepernick criticism. Here's the infamous clip of Michelle Tafoya on The View. Watch. That comparison that he makes to slave owners and slaves is not sort of totally you, unreasonable. I am support free speech a thousand percent. Mm -hmm. But I thought comparing it to the slave trade was a little rough. That's Believe the power he dynamic. He could win them a Super Bowl. He would be on a team right now. I promise you that. Jack, you know the sport better than anybody. You know that Michelle Tafoya is excellent on the X's and O's. Nobody gets that insight from the locker room. Nobody finds out about the injuries better than her. She is excellent at her job. What other reason could NBC have for shelving her after the season? 45 seconds to you. You know what? I think it was a lot of her choice. I think that was mm -hmm. an awakening for her. I think it, it uplifted her to take a stand for conservative principles and for her love for this nation. I, I feel like she probably doesn't think she belongs on those sidelines of a, of a league that supports the type of mess that call, comes out of Colin yeah. Kaepernick's mouth. So I think it was a lot on, on her, and I, and I applaud her for it. I hope she goes on and does more great things and becomes a, a leader in, in, in the movement yeah. for righteousness in this nation. Uh, Clay Travis was saying the same thing yesterday. 
yesterday on Fox and Friends that he thinks that this move was her choice. So <laughs> we wish her the best of luck wherever she decides to go. Uh, Jack, thank you so much for Great. joining us. Merry Christmas.